And here it is, the first upgrade of 2022. Let's see if we're off to a good start. Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Romy and thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm unboxing January's upgrade and well, we got some acrylics this month. We received two 59 milliliters bottle of Liquitex soft body acrylic in uh, muted turquoise and muted violet and two 20 ml tubes of Amsterdam acrylic in titanium white and reflex yellow. We also got a Lineo Synthetic number no. 8 flat brush, a Talens palette knife and a Art Design Lyra B pencil. As a painting surface, they sent us three sheets of Canon Cold Press 400 GMS paper in natural white, a very nice and thick paper. The co-captain of the month is Miranda Mullenkamp and you can check her out on Instagram under the name of Art by Miranda Mullenkamp. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. After a quick first flip through of the battle post, I decided to do some swatches and since they sent it with already some of the um, fluor yellow swatched on it, I decided to swatch directly on the first page of the battle post, which I'm not, I'm not sure whether they're going for that, but if they're not, I wouldn't really mind being able to swatch the um, materials every month on the cover of the bottle post. It's nice as reference, I don't know. Anyways, I really like the consistency of the Liquitex acrylic. I have actually been wanting to try them for a while and I'm not disappointed. The colors they sent us, they are really nice and I like how they chose some dark muted tone so I can easily mix a large variety of values from them using white. Plus, with the violet having a bit of red in it and well, the turquoise and the fluo yellow be some kind of uh, primary colors you can really mix a lot of colors with these this combination i think not everything obviously but yeah you can achieve uh, quite a variety of of colors uh, for example mixing the turquoise with uh, violet you can achieve an almost uh, blue black and that you can turn in a very nice uh, cool cool gray and yeah i like this color palette and i am in love with the fluo yellow is so bright I really like the consistency of the Amsterdam acrylic too. It's a bit, um, it has a bit more body to it. And um, yeah, but I love this color so much. Have you noticed how they often do that? I mean, the upgrade crew, they often add in a sort of crazy pop of color in their boxes. I just love that. Anyways, the theme of this month is abstract art and the prompt of the upgrade battle is what can you see, which is totally fitting. So I decided to give that a try and I took my brand new glass palette, which is really not new because it's actually a piece of a hopefully tempered glass I found a week ago 
in a thrift shop so it's so big but i was super happy to use it for the first time and i had the space to tape down the surface and still have plenty of space to mix the colors so i basically started playing with uh, the palette knife really and i'm not very good or experienced with abstract art but i really like it in general and well I decided to have sort of a subject, a figure of a woman, and see how it would go. I didn't really have much of a plan, and uh, by this point I really hated how it looked, but I was having a bit of fun playing with the colors though and I was really enjoying the process. I tried to define some values a bit better to create some form, uh, some recognizable form and still trying to keep loose but yeah um, again it's not my forte, not my comfort zone at all. So I was trying to create some texture in the background while keeping some balance in the composition and the colors and going with the flow. The thing, I, I really enjoyed the process, so I'll probably uh, keep doing a bit of abstract and I'll probably uh, pick up acrylic again. The only thing I might have to buy a stay wet palette or a, I don't know some kind of medium that gives you more time because that sort of stress me the uh, how quickly acrylics dry and um, maybe it didn't really even happened while I was painting that but it was always like in the back of my mind for some reason it will definitely be a problem with a bigger piece so I am not a hundred percent sure I love the result but I think I like it. I kept tweaking it here and there after recording the, um, the painting process and whatever. I'm very happy I enjoyed um, using the materials this month and it took me out of my comfort zone. Plus, the paper was the perfect size for a frame I have in my living room, so I think I'll put it there and see what I think in a couple of days. But that's all for this video. If you still here, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing creative rest of the day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.